Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to episode 3 of the WWE 2K18 Mega Universe mode. We are on the second edition of Monday Night Raw and we are kicking it off after some controversy after Stone Cold Steve Austin's debut match on Raw last week. So obviously as Kurt Hawkins approaches the ring, we have to discuss what happened last week on Monday Night Raw. Obviously we saw Kurt Hawkins brag about the fact that he was so far undefeated on uh, this universe mode. Obviously the fact that he hadn't wrestled a match is probably a major part of it. And of course the person to answer his channel challenge was none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Now as you can see on the screen right now, after the match, um, which was very short by the way, Stone Cold with a stunner and one, two, three. And um, we saw Kurt Hawkins go for a low blow and really that is some incredible nerve from Hawkins to be doing that uh, to one of the greatest of all time. And uh, what we have right now is a rematch to see if Kurt Hawkins wants to do that again after Stone Cold likely destroys him once more. Let's introduce Kurt Hawkins' opponent. The glass shatters and here he comes, Stone Cold Steve Austin, former WWE World Champion. All, he's won everything basically and he is here now making a statement, coming down here, he's in a pissed off mood. Is he ever in a good mood? Probably not. But right now he is out here to kick some ass and he's going to do it straight away. Kurt Hawkins, get ready, you're about to get your ass beat. Sent straight out of the ring already and Stone Cold Steve Austin means business. Here we go. Can't imagine really what, Stone, what Kurt Hawkins was thinking when he went for the low blow on uh, Stone Cold, but somehow he manages to get Stone Cold into the ring rather than the other way around. Interesting. Um, although it probably wasn't the wisest decision, as you can see already. The uh, the momentum isn't looking very good for Kurt. That is, that's for pretty damn sure right now. And the big knees send Hawkins in a bad position and neck breaker from Stone Cold. Neck breaker from Stone Cold. I'll be honest, I'm shocked this isn't, a, this isn't a squash match, to be honest. That is incredible stuff, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, there he is, he's uh, flipping the bird. <laughs> now let's get this match properly done as well, as soon as possible, really. I don't know how Kurt is even still in the match. Um, probably one of the, the most unsuccessful wrestlers in the history of WWE. Literally, I've, I don't think I've seen him win a match since the Edgehead era, maybe? Maybe even before that, who knows. It's been a long time since Kurt Hawkins picked up a win. Probably even longer since he picked up a pin for victory. Uh, somehow though, he's actually beginning to put up a bit of a fight here. Fireman's carry to Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> a big mistake and uh, it looks to be the um, stunner again off the top rope. And um, well, Kurt's in danger. But Stone Cold, the man who never goes to the top rope, just did a top rope dive elbow drop to the outside to Kurt Hawkins because he's in a bad mood obviously <laughs> and the damage continues to Kurt Hawkins fuck me you've made a big mistake here haven't you that's right send him back into the ring now and uh, looks like we're going to be going for the signature move here there we are oh dear what have you done Kurt what have you done this was a big mistake wasn't it Setting up now for the end of the match already very quickly into this game I, I don't know how long the match has been clearly not very long but long enough for Stone Cold to hit the stunner, go for the pin, referee counts it, one, two, and Stone Cold Steve Austin is two for two against Kurt Hawkins. Did you expect anything different? Of course not. And it may, we may as well announce right now as we watch the replays of Stone Cold destroying Kurt Hawkins one more time, that the main event tonight will be another uh, qualifying round for the female Fatal 4-Way match for the Women's Championship at Payback. It will be Sasha Banks against Trish Stratus in the main event tonight of a very incredible episode of Raw that you're about to see. Stone Cold celebrates once more, looks to have put to bed the uh, the issue between him and Kurt Hawkins and uh, that should be that. Should be that. Don't know if it will be though. Uh, Stone Cold seems to be in a mood where he needs to be telling him what's what. I'm going to do that just just a little bit, you know, just just to make sure he knows who he's dealing with here. You know, we need to make sure Kurt Hawkins knows what's going on. And we're going to do that with this right now. Another Stone Cold Stunner. And that is that. And the next match 
will be another round, the second round of the Tag Team Championships Qualifier. Obviously, last episode we saw um, the team of... Shit, I've forgotten. <laughs> who was it? Oh, God. Oh, my God, I've forgotten who won the first round match. Ah! Well, anyway, the team that they will be facing will be either Edge and Christian or their opponents tonight, who we will be announcing in a moment. And it's only the damn revival. And that's right. Edge and Christian versus the Riot Revival. You've got to consider this something of a dream match right now. And we are seeing it right now. Obviously, I didn't actually forget. It was RVD and Kane who got a victory over Enzo More and Big Cass last week to make sure they get their place at payback for the Tag Team Championships. Will it be, though? Uh, Edge and Christian taking them on, or will it be The Revival? Let's find out right now. So Edge to start the match off against Scott Dawson. Let's get this going. Second match of the episode. Let's see if Edge and Christian can reignite their immense success of the 21st century in this match right here. So far, so good. Although Scott Dawson manages to find his way back into this... this uh... Okay, he's got the advantage now, definitely. Edge trying to work a way out of it. He has done. There we go. Back into a headlock. <sighs> Love that. And uh, seems to have gathered control. There we go. Into a headlock takedown. Good position here for Edge. Oh, never mind. Hang on. There we go. There we go. And Edge takes firm control of this situation. And a big knee to the head of Scott Dawson. Send him to the ground temporarily. Oh, and a big boot from Edge. Former... World Heavyweight Champion, multiple times might I add, one of the most successful superstars of the Ruthless Aggression PG era. You've got to say, he is uh, sorely missed in, in real life, you know. Uh, Shay is really, I was, I, was, I was watching when he retired after that other uh, Dario WrestleMania match. Um, what, a, what a superstar, the rated R superstar nonetheless. Uh, really a shame to see him go, and Christian as well, because uh, he was always undervalued really, in my opinion. Um, as Edge is in complete control of this match so far, Scott Dawson has to make the hot tag and is successful in doing so. And Dash Wilder is there to make the drop, get the drop kick on. Uh, good start to the match for him, but it doesn't last very long as Edge with the body slam that puts their momentum to bed. Getting ready now to tag in Christian, Captain Charisma. Let's get him in the match and let's get this going. Right, against the ropes and, oh, a clothesline spear. Very nice stuff there. And an elbow drop from Christian. Go for the early pin. Referee counts it. Going for it. It's not going to get the win straight away, but it's a, it's a nice little start to say we mean business. Christian taking it to Scott Dawson, who was making some noise on the apron. And um, how will this match continue for these guys? A drop kick missed by Christian and the reversal, though, so he stays in control of the match. Draw breaker from Dash Wilder. What's going on here? Oh! Wow, a big stomp from Christian, who um, defended against, I don't know what, from Dash Wilder, but either way, it looked threatening. Uh, Dash Wilder, though, takes Christian down, and working on the leg now, which is never good news, because that means he's setting up for potentially a submission, which could spell danger for Edge and Christian. Working into now the uh, corner, the uh, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder revival corner. They have not made the tag, though. It is still Dash Wilder, legal man in the ring. And well, I don't know what just happened there. I mean, technically Scott just tagged in Dash Wilder, but they're not... I don't I don't know what just happened. Okay, either way, Christian avoided that big move there. And he's got Dash Wilder up. He's made a major reversal, though, and a reverse DDT to Christian. And Dash is back in control of this matchup. I'm blocked as well, so I can't do anything here. Oh, shit. What's this now? Oh, a big suplex slam sort of thing there. Not really sure what that was. Either way, Dash Wilder still in control of this match. Can we please? Nope, no chance there. Oh, that's always causing a lot of damage there. Can we get the hot tag to Edge? Got to try. There we go. Hot tag made. Get in the ring. Here we go. Edge with the clothesline. Big clothesline there as well. And uh, DDT as well. There we go, Edge. Back in control of this match. He tried to go for Scott Dawson, didn't work. Okay, well, come on. Oh, he's reversed. Oh, sent right out of the ring. Edge maintains control of the match. Referee makes sure he can't exit the ring. But Edge is the one man stood left in the ring. 
and is in firm control of this matchup. Will Scott Dawson manage to find a way into the ring? Or will the count out occur? Very unlikely, let's be honest. It's very unlikely. Come on now. Whenever you're ready. Come on, get back in the ring. And, uh, okay, don't do anything. Shit. Oh, there we go. And get ready for an execution. There we go. Go for the pinfall. Will this be enough? Count it, ref. One, two. Dash Wilder runs into the ring. And uh, he ca he's causing problems for me, to be honest. Oh, and a reversal from Dash keeps Edge from taking him out of the ring. Time for, Dash for Scott to recover, but not enough. And uh, well, we'll do that and sort that out. And uh, Hey, that was cheeky. Fuck me, I was trying <laughs> Shit. There we are. Okay, well, that's problematic, isn't it? Against the ropes. Oh, and a big elbow from Scott Dawson. Turns the match on its head, and suddenly Scott is in control of the match. For how long? We'll see. Uh, fuck. Could be quite a while, considering those kind of moves. Oh, hang on. Very good from Edge. Gets the punch in. And a sidewalk slam. No, a backbreaker. Oh, damn. Right. I know what I'm doing now. Here we go. Edge going for the spear. What could Christian possibly be doing here? He's taking Dash down. And, oh, God. Edge has been reversed. Oh, shit. Edge, <laughs> Edge's spear was reversed and I had no idea. No, my plan went wrong. Fuck. Edge reverses the kick, though, and it works out somehow. The heel kick connects on Scott Dawson. The spear is reversed, and it was the perfect opportunity to win the match. They survive, though. The Revival survive. This match could be a lot more close than it looked to be as this match was panning out. Dawson now going for another kick, and it's not worked out. Oh, Enziguri. Fuck me. Let's not. Let's not be doing that, please. I'm trying to win a match here. There we go. Another reversal from Edge. Very good. Uh, let's, tell you what, let's do this. Get him back in the ring. We don't want to be wasting time outside of it, do we? Not at all. And there we go. Another signature for Edge. Let's uh, let's get him up. I don't know about that. All right. Has he got a different? No, that's the same one. Edge execution again to Scott Dawson. This time, Dash Wilder's getting out of the ring and setting up for the spear right away. Here we go. This is close range now. Not much chance of him kicking out of this. Oh. Big spear from Edge. One, two, and Edge and Christian progress to the final where they will meet RVD and Kane. A payback for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Ultimately, the win was fairly comfortable for the two. Um, they did manage to cause some problems, did our uh, revival here. They probably will get a future shot eventually, you know, at the Tag Team Championship. They just need to you know, work on their their performance really because obviously they survived the first spear by reversing it obviously did Scott Dawson but it wasn't enough as Edge had another one in store and uh, well I mean look at this short distance as well there wasn't much he could do about that and Edge books their ticket into the payback final where I mean it's going to be pretty good isn't it anyway next match on the card I believe is the triple threat match to decide who else will be joining Mick Foley in the WWE Championship Final at Payback. So of course introducing first in this triple threat match is Brett the Hitman Hart, one of the biggest icons of the Astrude era is Bret Hart and he will be looking to, to book a place into the final at Payback. I said that I said that sentence so many times this episode I apologize if it's annoying anyone but uh, nevertheless Bret the Hitman Hart is going to be a big favorite to possibly go on and win the WWE Championship at Payback if not then at least at some point in this universe mode he's, he's a, a massive icon massive complete legend and let's find out who his opponents will be in this match It'll be Seth Rollins making up the second portion of this triple threat match. Seth freaking Rollins might add, the Kingslayer and all those phrases you might want to throw at me. Another man, a modern era, reality era guy. Obviously, we've already seen Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose in this series. Dean Ambrose defeating Rey Mysterio in the last episode to 
book his place in the semi-finals of the Intercontinental Championship tournament over on SmackDown. Roman Reigns, of course, taking the pinfall from Mick Foley to uh, unfortunately not progress for him to the WWE Championship final at Payback. Can Seth Rollins do better than his Shield compatriot there? Can he replicate what Dean Ambrose achieved? We'll have to find out, won't we? Let's see who these two have to meet in this triple threat match. And this will be who I'm using in this match. That is the longest car I have ever seen, ever. I'm pretty sure he just drove through the stage. But regardless, it is the one, the only, the Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. And uh, this is going to be huge, isn't it? One of the greatest of all time. Probably one of the biggest stars of the Ruthless, the, sorry, Ruthless Aggression era. There's his lovely, uh, lovely car. He didn't actually drive into the stage. That's good. Uh, <laughs> and Eddie Guerrero, rest in peace, is representing himself on Raw to hopefully book a ticket. I've said that again, for fuck's sake, he's going to find a place in the triple threat match at Payback to find a chance to become WWE Champion. It's definitely what I want. I am playing as him in this match. Let's get it going. Bret Hart, Seth Rollins, Eddie Guerrero, Viva La Raza. Let's do it. First of all, we're going to... Okay, we're going to let them do it, because, you know, I, I don't need to do everything. And uh, Eddie Guerrero takes advantage of Seth Rollins' first move by taking him down with a nice uh, neck breaker of sorts with the, the knee. Uh, Seth Rollins the jawbreaker, though. And uh, Falcon Arrow? No, reversed by Eddie. Major reversal, might I add. And uh, back in control here. Got a power bomb coming up, potentially. No, it's the gory... It's the gory slam? Gory bomb? Gory bomb. Bret Hart trying to take advantage of Eddie Guerrero. No chance, mate. Oh, <laughs> I think that was actually an elbow drop that just hit Bret Hart really hard. Amazing. Now what are we going to do here? Oh, oh. Is this old school? Are we going for old school? I think we're going for old school, you know. Oh, never mind. Oh, a nice arm drag there from Eddie Guerrero. I love that moveset. Sorry, no, I'm not going for you. Ah, okay. Bret Hart, the first man to roll out of the ring. And a reversal from Seth Rollins into the Northern Light suplex. Uh, no pinfall, though. And uh, Seth Rollins suddenly takes control of this matchup. Goodness me. I can't reverse right now on blocks. Great stuff. Really happy about that. Bret Hart makes his way back into the ring. Straight away, pretty much. And Seth Rollins going for... Oh, a small package driver. Ow. That was painful. Why are they both going for me? Please don't both go for me. That's mean. That's really harsh, my ad. There we go. Northern Lights into the pin. There we go. Seth is taunting and uh, should pay for that by a drop kick into the corner. There we go. Eddie Guerrero is in firm control of this match. A bomb there. Outside the corner. And Seth Rollins rolls out of the ring now. Eddie take up all the action in this match so far. And uh, a big back suplex to add to that. We're in firm control right now. I'm, I'm happy. Although, there's a reversal. This would have been a dream match as well, wouldn't it? I don't know if this match ever actually happened. Let me know if it did. Bret Hart versus Eddie Guerrero. Did that happen? I, I have no idea, to be honest. I don't think it did. If it did, then I need to watch that. Because I imagine it would be an amazing match. Right now, there's Seth Rollins back in the ring. And I know for sure that Bret Hart versus Seth Rollins has never happened. And um, Seth Rollins versus Eddie Guerrero equally has never happened. Uh, which is obviously a tragedy in itself. Uh, what's you going for here? Oh shit, Seth Rollins has got a finisher. Oh god. Right, well, okay. Let's, you're not going for... Okay. Oh my god, he's going for... Holy shit. He's actually... Oh my god, no, no, no. He's, he's just hit Bret with the finisher. And he's not even gone for the pin. He's just gone to taunt. My god, suddenly Seth Rollins is in firm control of the match. He's just knocked out Bret Hart completely. He's out cold. That's it. And a DDT to Eddie Guerrero. And I'm still not being rolled out of the ring. I don't get it. Why aren't I rolling out of the ring? Can you, can you give me a break for a minute, <laughs> please? Okay, reversal from Eddie. And uh, Bret looks to be getting to his feet. Let's uh, give him a warm welcome there with a DDT. No reversal. Good. And a pin. Are you joking? Calm down. There we go. And now we roll out of the ring. Bret Hart going for a snap suplex on Seth Rollins as we have to recover outside. <sighs> so let me know, guys, as we go through this episode, if you have any thoughts of dream matches you'd like to see in this series. Bret Hart with a submission right now. Um, I didn't expect anything from it, to be fair, but there you go. And uh, ooh, very nice reverse STO there. Because um, obviously I've got a big plethora of superstars to work my way through in this series. Um... You'll see quite a few in the next matches in the eight-man at Battle Royale for the uh, 
the second place in the uh, European Championship match to pay uh, payback. Um, but of course, you know there are plenty that I need to. Oh damn, that went wrong. So I uh, didn't really, but you know, wrong enough. I forgot that Eddie Guerrero's finisher was a frog, frog splash for some reason there. Oh my god, Phoenix splash from Seth Rollins, mental. Okay, what's going on here? Ah, careful. What's happening here? Oh my god, running all the way around Brett. And a reversal, what a waste of time. Big drop kick from Eddie Guerrero. And Seth Rollins has to roll out the ring. Big chance here, big chance, big chance. Here we go, frog splash to Bret Hart. Go for the pin, Eddie Guerrero. Will he be in the final? Yes, he will. It will be Mick Foley versus Eddie Guerrero versus whoever wins next week's triple threat match to determine who will be the WWE Champion. Eddie Guerrero with a frog splash onto Bret Hart, who already received a um, that knee move from, uh, I can't remember the name of that move now. The move that Seth Rollins uses that's the uh, the knee to the face, the whatever, I don't remember what it's called. Fight me, fuck off. Uh, big move from Seth Rollins though, and uh, he didn't get the job done, but Eddie Guerrero certainly did. And thank goodness for that, because that means, thanks to this frog splash, Eddie Guerrero will be in payback. Get in. So now, after that victory, unless there's any highlights coming up here or like cutscenes, I can't see anything happening. Wow, the referee just said to bump into Eddie Guerrero. Big mistake, mate. Uh, it looks like we'll be moving on to the next match of the episode, which will be the eight man battle royale to decide who will be facing Cesaro in the European Championship match at Payback. Let's get to it. Right, so I figured I'd do you guys the favour of not having to sit through eight, um, eight fucking entrances at once, and instead just show you what we have in store today. We've got Carlito, Chris Jericho, Evan Bourne, Finn Balor, Neville, John Morrison, Rusev and Samoa Joe competing for a place at Payback to take on Cesaro in the European Championship match. Obviously right now I'm playing as Neville as you can see. I'm taking on uh, Evan Bourne right now and Carlito has all, like, already eliminated someone. I believe Chris Jericho is the first man eliminated from the match. That is mental. Chris Jericho probably the most successful man in the ring, or was in the ring anyway. And uh, already he's been eliminated by Carlito. Incredible stuff there. And Evan Bourne is absolutely taking it to me right now. But Neville gets the upper hand and eliminates him. Mad stuff. Evan Bourne also eliminated now. Now we're down to just six men. Carlito right now down, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Let's uh, get him in a bit of trouble. Uh, right, let's see what we can do here. Going for a suplex of sorts here, I believe. Yep, it's a stalling suplex. And yes, power from Neville right there. Power. And oh, oh, I love Neville. What a man. What a guy. I hope he comes back at some point. Um, if he decides to go, you know, to like New Japan or Ring of Honor or whatever, I completely get it because the uh, Cruiserweight division really hasn't taken off as well as you'd hope, although he was the best part of it at one point in time. Um, if he came back, say, for like a WrestleMania, let's beat the shit out of Enzo Amore thing, I'd be good for that. I'd completely enjoy that. Um, so maybe he'll do that, but I kind of hope that Neville doesn't have to stay in the Cruiserweight division. I'd love to see him, you know, compete in the Intercontinental division or even, you know, like for the proper, like, Universal Champion sort of shit, because he is that fucking good. He is that good. And he's convincing, because he looks hard as shit. Like, who wants to fight Neville? Not me. Not me at all. Trying to get Kali Kali out of the ring now, though. Can we do that? Finn Balor, please don't stop me. We're trying to get Kali gone, and he reverses just in time. For fuck's sake. Nearly got him there. Not quite. And um, that's a DDT. Fuck's sake. Have I got any reversals left? I still have some reversals. That's fine. Oh, God. Rusev, please. You're another guy that I want to be a WWE Champion at some point in time. Please don't do that to me though, yeah? Oh, Finn Balor with a clothesline to Russo, fucking hell. Have we seen Neville versus Finn Balor? Because that's something I need to see. Because if, I mean, if it's already happened, I need to see it, you know? Oh shit, oh shit. Kalito trying to eliminate Neville now. Uh, he's already eliminated Chris Jericho from this match, so let's make sure he doesn't add me to the list. There we go. Neville manages to escape, and we continue in the match all fine and dandy for now. Right, let's get Kalio done here with Hurricane Rana. There we go. Loving it. Neville, the man with the plan. And uh, who are we going for now? Samoa Joe? Should we just see what's going on between the rest of the guys? Let's recover for a little bit. My stamina's alright and my uh, my momentum is good as well. I've got I've actually got a signature now. So if I just, just hit this on Kalito. Reverse Frankensteiner, which looks brutal by the way. Fuck me, I love that move. We've got Kalito in a bad position. Can we get him out of the ring? He's out and eliminated. And Samojo hits me with a sleeper suplex immediately. Fuck's sake. But it doesn't matter 
because Neville's just that damn good. There we go. Neville now has eliminated uh, Carlito and uh, Evan Bourne. And now there are just five men left in the ring. Although they are five absolute top class stars. John Morrison, Finn Balor, Rusev and Samoa Joe. Any of these men would put up a great challenge to Cesaro. Let's be honest, it's going to be a huge match. Whoever ends up facing Cesaro at payback. Let's just make sure it can be Neville. Come on now. This is close. Okay, I think he's given up. Yeah, he gave up. That's mad. What a fool. And John Morrison now takes advantage of Finn Balor not paying attention. It looks like Rusev could be on the way out. Thanks to Samoa Joe. Can we help him? No, Rusev got away. Uh, I was never trying to help. Samoa Joe, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, shit. Rusev going for Samoa Joe. And Samoa Joe reverses. He stays in the match. But will John Morrison, we've just busted him wide open, I believe. Yep, he's down. Let's uh, go Finn Balor. He's probably one of the favourites for this match, isn't he? Uh, former World uh, Universal Champion in his own right. Let's uh, get him out of this match. Oh, God. Rusev, careful, mate. Oh, Hurricane Rana, loving it. Oh, I swear, I'm, I'm feeling good in this match right now. I've not had a bit of a bout with Samoa Joe yet, besides him giving me a sleeper slam. Uh, so let's do that. Let's get him involved. Uh, okay, he reversed it. Good. Good. No, fuck. Oh, God. This isn't good. Oh, shit. Neville, uh, sorry, uh, Finn Balor has just uh, removed John Morrison from the ring. And now it's a four man situation. Got Finn Balor going for me now. This isn't good. Uh, did I reverse that? No, I didn't. Shit. Shit. That's a brain buster. That's a vicious brain buster from Finn Balor. Back in control of this against me right now. Ah, uh, this excites me because I'm, I'm really happy with any of these guys going on to the uh, European Championship match. Rusev, Finn Balor, Neville, Smojo, all of them class stars. Proper top class wrestlers. And uh, any of them would put on a match of the candidate with Cesaro. So uh, let's just try and make sure. There we go. That I stay in the match. There we go. And Finn Balor, get down with the sickness, as they say. Oh shit! I have to just stopped Rusev eliminating Samoa Joe, and now we've got that glitch again where uh, everyone's fucking up, aren't they? Uh, Finn Balor stays in it. Or does he? Whoa! He's hanging on. My god, Finn Balor hung on. And he's still on the map. What is Rusev doing? What is he doing? Fuck me, man. Oh shit. Reversal by Finn Balor. I've got no reversals now. I'm fucked. I'm fucked if I get on the ropes. Actually fucked. Finn Balor now. Oh, Joe, please. Joe, please. Oh, God. What's he going for? What's Finn going for? He's just, he's just hitting him. What are you doing? Shit. <laughs> Joe's going to be angry. Yep, there we go. And a Russian leg sweep from Joe to Finn Balor. This could go any way now. This could go any way right now. Joe looking probably to remove Finn Balor from the ring. Got him against the turnbuckle. He's going for it. Right, let's get let's get up before Joe or Rusev, sorry, tries to kill me. Oh look, he's gonna do it anyway. Good. Good. Perfect timing. And nice. Loving it. Please be nice. No. No, that's not what we want. Fall away slam to Neville, and we've, we're in the worst situation of everyone in the match right now. We've got a signature to finish him, but we've got orange back damage and orange, orange head damage. And I've just... Oh, that's Rusev's replacement finisher, isn't it? Because he doesn't have the accolade. That's really dumb. I can't believe we just saw a highlight for that. <laughs> Mad. Oh, Neville reverses Rusev. Neville reverses Rusev. Can we get him out of the ring? Come on, get out there. Please. Neville. Oh, oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh fuck. I thought I just got eliminated. Genuinely, I thought that was it. Rusev, though, seems to be incapable of hitting the target, and he's just beating up the top rope right now. I genuinely thought Rusev just eliminated me, honestly. And it could be it for some for Neville right now. We'll see. Oh, Finn Balor has just been eliminated by Samoa Joe, and it's now a triple threat between Neville, Rusev, and Samoa Joe. Huge, huge stuff going on right now. Oh, I like that. And... Rusev is down right now, so uh, going to get him up. Look at that. Pointing to the sky. This man is the man that gravity forgot, if you forgot. <laughs> Taking Rusev down. It's going to be Samoa Joe versus, versus Neville right now. That's what it's come down to. Let's get him out of the ring. And he's gone. It's Samoa Joe versus Neville. Here we go. Just waiting for him to recover. Is he just going to wait? Or are we going to get him up? We're going to get him up, I think. There we go. Joe versus Neville. This is massive. Oh, fuck. What? No. 
No, no, that's bullshit. I can't believe that's just happened. I used to just saw we went for the spin kick and it just didn't connect. That's ridiculous. Mad. Samoa Joe versus Neville. This is huge. This is amazing stuff. I want to see this match in real life, by the way, just so you all know. I want to see this happen. And Joe going for the chop to the back and the kick to the front. Ooh, Neville's in red back damage now. This is not good. Taking a beating from everyone today. Fuck no. Did I get reversal? No, I didn't. Shit. Samoan drop from Samoa Joe. A certain Samoan Joseph right now is beating my ass. I'm not happy with that. Come on. No, I've reversed that for fuck's sake. He's just absolutely destroying me right now. He's absolutely destroying me. There we go. Reversal. Okay, okay. Chance here. Chance. Oh, I missed it. Fuck's sake. No, come on. Stop being ret Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. Super kick. And Samojo's gone. Neville has just won the eight man battle royale. And it will be Cesaro versus Neville in the European Championship match at Payback. Oh my god. What an end to that match. Neville ended up eliminating Carlito, Rusev, um, Evan Bourne. And Samoa Joe. He eliminated half of the field to get to where he's gone. Um, the only thing you have to say is that Cesaro eliminated everyone in his match. He went through everyone. But that doesn't matter right now. That's irrelevant. What is relevant right now is the fact that Neville was victorious. And Neville will be facing Cesaro at payback. Let's get on to the main event now where we will see Sasha Banks take on Trish Stratus. So introducing first, we have Sasha Banks from Boston, Massachusetts, of course. I'm not the entrance announced person, but you know, that's basically my job right now because there's no commentary. Sasha Banks, of course, is the person I'm going to be using in this match, and hopefully we'll be able to book her place as the first modern wrestler into the Fatal 4 way match at Payback, of course. So far, Lita has already booked her place. She defeated Bailey. Uh, next week we will see another match involving Alicia Fox and her opponent who will be revealed in the first match of the next episode. You better tune in for that because it's going to be a pretty huge reveal. Anyway, for now we've got Sasha Banks, let's introduce Trish Stratus. There she is. Considered one of the greatest of all time as far as women's wrestling goes, Trish Stratus is. She and Lita were trailblazers in the Attitude Era, going into the Ruthless Aggression Era, and of course paved the way for the likes of, of um, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Becky Lynch, Charlotte. For them, the four horsewomen, their chance to revolutionise the women's division. I mean, Paige, of course, as well, has a massive part of that. And Emma, you know. But it's, it's thanks to the likes of Chris Stratus who gave them the chance. Now let's see which woman will come out on top in this dream match. Main event time. It's going to be good. Sasha Banks, Trish Stratus, let's do it. Let's get off to a good start here. We need to get off to a good start. And so far, so good. Got into a headlock and going for the neck breaker. Oh, it's a really painful looking neck breaker. I like it. It's good. And a kick to Trish Stratus' back. We're going to be working on her head mainly because, of course, that's where the uh, the bank statement is most prominent in a, in a offense. But for now, Trish Stratus has hit the back breaker on me. Good. Glad. I'm happy. I'm happy that's happened. Uh, can we just stop, please? Okay, advantage Trish at the moment. Leg drop onto the knee. That doesn't look fun at all. Really doesn't look fun at all. Um, by the way, make sure you tune into the next episode of this series. Uh, we'll have the SmackDown episode 2, which will involve uh, another triple threat to decide who will be in the World Heavyweight Championship match at Payback. We'll also have... Um, Alistair Black's debut, we'll have The Miz and The Hurricane taking on each other in an Intercontinental Championship qualifier, that's going to be huge, the return of The Hurricane, and uh, we will also see a few other big matches as well, so I, I, I recommend checking that out because it's going to be good, as Booker T would say, who by the way is also qualified for the Intercontinental Championship semi-final, so you should watch last episode for that match where he beat JBL, it was quite good actually to be fair, quite a good match as uh, Sasha Banks is in control at the moment after a nice neck break at Trish, uh, Trish Stratus. I, really, it's a hard name to say. Harder than it sounds. And a bulldog from Sasha Banks. Very good stuff. And drop kick to the back. Lovely, 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 lovely. As a certain Ross Swiddell would say. Let's continue this going. No, nope, powerbomb from Trish. 
and the momentum has swung again, like a pendulum, you might say. Bloody hell, back and forth right now. Reversal, Tasha Banks get out of the way, and Meteora into the pin four. Quick pin, ref count it, come on, and it's a kick out. Never mind. Safe for Trish Stratus at the moment, but she is getting a bit of a beating. Sasha Banks in firm control of this match. Can we continue that? A nice drop kick there. Really nice. Trish is being overwhelmed by the offense of Sasha Banks right now. And she can't hang. Maybe she hasn't got it anymore. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, let's go for the roll-up. Surprise her a little bit. She's got back damage now. Yellow back damage. Two count. Oh, it's been reversed. Quick kick out, though, by Sasha. Surprise there. Trish stuck to a sign of life there. Misses with the elbow. And uh, let's go for another neck breaker on Trish. This time, the signature move. There we go. Into the pinfall. Will Sasha already book her place? This could be a shock win if she already defeats Trish. No, it's a kick out, though. She stays in the match. Right. Let's go to the top. Referee, get out of the way. Trish looking to get to her feet, though. This is going to gonna, gonna look nasty if this goes wrong. Here we go. The drop kick. it connects, and Trish is down. Trish is in trouble right now. She's not looking good at all. Go for the pin. Count it, ref. Got a, no, not quite a two count. And she has a signature now as a result of that. That's uh, problematic, to say the least. Come on now, let's uh, see what we can do here. Oh, shit. Fuck. Bollocks. No. Okay, snap suplex from Trish. And uh, her signature remains. I'm still in green health, though, so I'm not worried right now. I will be, if this keeps going the way it is. Right. DDT to Sasha Banks there. Not enjoying that. Come on, Sasha. Fucking hell. Oh my god, that was a reversal. That was, I didn't. I was not too late. I I promise you, I was not too late. Is she going for it? I think she just went for a signature. Has she? I don't. I don't fucking know. She's about to, isn't she? She's about to. Oh fuck. Did I reverse it? I didn't. I no. I definitely didn't. <laughs> that was uh, that was a bad. That was bad because she she just properly hurt me. Thank you. Signature from Trish, and now she's got a finisher. And another DDT. Okay. Come on now. Come on, Sasha. Fuck! That was a finisher, wasn't it? Oh my god. I didn't see that coming at all. Oh, kick out at one, though. Sasha remains in the match. I did not see that that uh, chick kick coming. I didn't, I didn't realise that was a finisher. I thought she had like a slice bread sort of thing going on. But uh, no, clearly not. It was uh, much, much worse, potentially. Right, so we've got uh, got Trish down now. Let's uh, let's go for our own finisher now. Bank statement coming for Trish. Will Sasha Banks be moving on to payback? Let's, come on, there we go. Oh, we've got the right button straight away as well. Oh, shit. Fuck, no, no, no. no. Oh, I've just lost my chance, haven't I? Oh, hang on. Still there. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. She's managed to escape. Let's just try and get as much damage as we can. Fuck. Trish avoids the, uh, oh god, no, 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 hang on, wait, 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 hang on, no, two count and a kick out at two, uh, no submission victory for Sasha Banks just yet, although I think it should have been, but whatever, whatever, it's fine, still technically in the better condition of the two at the moment, but uh, Trish will be causing problems if I don't sort this out, snapmare there, fuck's sake, she's going to the top rope now, this could be a good chance to get a reversal here, okay, and yeah there we go reversal achieved let's uh, get to the top rope ourselves now see what we can do here oh for god's sake don't be getting to your feet that's just that shit come on and a drop kick misses and she escapes she gets out the ring why is that she's scared oh god oh my god that went horribly wrong trish got back into the ring completely fooled sasha banks and the springboard dive goes tits up <sighs> oh no okay right Good, a nice forearm from Trish. And now the most generic move in history. Again, second time, good. Reversal, there we go. And what are we going to hear? Oh, the forearm doesn't connect. Trish reverses. But I think I did as well, there we go. Also got a submission myself now. Okay, let's, uh, let's get Trish back into the ring. There we go, back into the ring. Lovely. Okay. Right. Let's get you up, seeing you as you just want to get up all the time without, you know, hesitation. Let's, uh, let's make sure this works. Okay. Get you into the turnbuckle. I, where is her other signature? Is it is it the frog splash? Am I just being stupid? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. 
Oh, fuck. I think I reversed that. Did I reverse it? I did. Good. There we go. There we are. Lovely. Going for the, the neck breaker again. May as well. I don't remember what hero the signature is. Did I get that pin? I didn't. Fuck. Okay, well, I'm going to the top rope this time. I want that fucking top rope dive. Here we go. Tribute to Eddie. Frog Splash misses. Fuck. No. 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 Oh, shit. That's nasty. Come on now. Be nice. Oh, reversal. Big reversal. Drop kick. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's time. It's time. It's time. Right. Here we are. Here we are. Got a chance to get the win here. Sasha Banks against Trish Stratus. Goes through into the bank statement. Here we go. Come on. Oh, wrong button. Doesn't matter though. It's all right. Everything's fine. Oh, this could be worse than last time. I don't think. Come on. Come on. Surely. Surely not. Surely not. Oh my God. Trish has survived again. Trish has survived. I can't believe that. Trish Stratus has survived another bank statement. And she's got a roll up again. But I managed to kick out once again at two. Fucking hell. That, that, I can't believe she didn't submit. Like... Her head's in red damage. She needs to be tapping out, Trish. Oh, fuck. I was trying to get out of the ring. And... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Oh. What's she going for? Oh, my God. This is an OMG moment. Oh, no. It's not. It's her finisher. It's her finisher. She's got it. Fuck. That is... Is that satisfaction? I'm not sure. But either way, that could be the match. That's a... Uh, huge from Trish Stratus. And I've got to kick out. I've got to kick out. Come on now. Come on. Oh, she did! Sasha Banks kicks out at two. And the match continues. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I, I just... I'm shocked. Sasha Banks survives a second finish from Trish. Just after Trish survived the second bank statement. Amazing stuff. Oh, shit. I got reversal there as well. She's blocked now. This is prime. This is such a good opportunity here. This is such a good opportunity. Come on now. Gotta get, gotta pay, uh, uh, fuck, can't speak, I'm too excited. Gotta make this opportunity pay, and we've gotta make sure this works out. Go for the frog splash now, can it connect? It will. Go for the pin, referee, count it. Count it, ref. One, two. <sighs> she kicks out, fuck, and now she's got her reversals back. All right, let's see if she can waste one at least. No, she's not wasting any, good. Okay, that's fine. Right, here we go. Going, oh, she reversed it, fuck. Of course she reverses that, no. Oh, God. Frankensteiner from uh, from Trish. She's got a signature now herself. I do as well, though. So, it's not over just yet. Right, she's outside the ring. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is going to be rolled. I've got to kick out. got to kick out. Come on. Can't lose the match here. Not here. There we go. Kick out at two. Okay, the match continues. She what was that? <laughs> Fuck. Come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Don't be rude. God damn it. Oh fuck! I got no reversals as well. I didn't. I didn't notice. I'm, I'm an idiot. Uh, I've got 146 percent no momentum right now, so I'm very close to finisher. There we go. Finisher has been achieved. Right. There we go. Oh fuck! No 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 no! Oh my god! Oh my! What the fuck? I like to chair drop. This match has been incredible. This match has actually been incredible. What's going on here? Oh no 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 no! She's done it again. Oh my god. Can I revert? Is there a second revert? I don't even know where the reversal point is for that. And Trish Stratus has hit that finisher for a second time. I don't know the name of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what a match this has been. Oh my god. This could be it. This is going to be it, isn't it? Four star match. Oh shit. Oh, thank fuck for that. Right. Had to use it. Had to. Otherwise I'd have lost. I had to use that. Sasha Banks survives another finisher. And uh, the match continues somehow, although Sasha Banks is still very much in the, on the back foot here. Good God. Come on now. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, God. Come on. What was that? Oh, my God. That's such bullshit. Come on now. Fuck off. Oh, oh God. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, red damage as well. Oh, reversal though. Here we go. Drop kick from Sasha Banks. Back in the match. Here we go. Kick to the back. And now she's in red damage. Good. Good. Okay. We're getting back into the match now. Come on. Get those punches in. There we are. Remaining in the match. Let's do this. Okay. What's this going to be? Oh. Oh. Into the neck breaker. Oh, yeah. Loving it. Loving it. And another kick to the back. 
Okay. How can we win this match now? 79% momentum. We're in charge here, suddenly. And, oh my god, Luthers press. Shades of Stone Cold Steve Austin, who kicked off the episode today against Kurt Hawkins, remember? What a, what a great performance room that was. And uh, it looks like we've got a chance for another neck breaker. Please do not reverse this. Oh, she did. Of course she did. Of course she did. Of course she did. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't be tapping out. Don't be tapping out. Don't be tapping out. No, 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 no. You can't be tapping out. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not tapping out. Not tapping out. No, no, no. Fuck. 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 Oh, my God. This is over. Oh, it's over. No, it's not. It's not. Chance. Still alive. Still alive. Still alive. Oh, Sasha Banks is surviving the STF. She's done it. We're out. We're free. And a roll up. No, never mind. Not the roll up. But can we get the roll up now? Go for it. Go for it. Oh, she, she missed it. Fuck. No. Another reversal. Ah! Come on! Missed it again! No! And another one! Oh my god, come on! She missed it again! Fuck me! Oh my god! Oh fuck, this is it. I'm dead. I'm I'm done. She's gonna go for it again. She's got she's got a chance for the finisher one more time. I was blocked there. This is it. One more time and this this time centre of the ring. Perfect positioning. Trish Stratus is probably just defeated Sasha Banks. Unless I can make an un sort of I I don't know what I can do here. Come on. Okay. Oh, that was so close. I was so close to that kicking out then. That was possible. But Trish Stratus had to had to use four finishes there to keep Sasha Banks away. And oh good match. Really good match. Definitely one to see again in the future, hopefully. But for now, it will be Lita versus Trish Stratus versus two other opponents at the Payback pay-per-view. No modern wrestlers so far. So far, the uh, two pioneers of the Attitude Era have qualified. And that is the end of the second episode of Raw, the third episode of this Mega Universe mode. I hope you all enjoyed it. We end it with Sasha Banks defeated and Trish Stratus standing tall. What an image as we close out this third episode. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more if you want to give me a bit of an ego boost. And I'll see you all next time. In a bit, everyone.